Tifu. I accidentally revealed my boyfriend's mom's infidelity. Damn all his kids weren't his after 18 years. Yeah. That might break me. Legitimately break me. Definitely would still love the s out of my kids but. I think something would break inside me. The knowing that my entire reproductive life, due to 60, is a lie and the opportunity to father biological kids is past. I couldn't talk to my soon to be ex spouse again. Then I would need some therapy. I thought this too. I'd be traumatized. Honestly if I were op I would have been traumatized watching this happen. Op would be positively mortified I'd wager. I agree. Absolutely. I wonder how many people will actually see a family implode. You had a front row seat. What do you mean front row seat? This lucky slash unlucky snoffer bitch was driving. Steered head first into the family then got out of the car and run away unscathed. I was just thinking damn. She walked away from an explosion. And then I ran across your comment. Perfect. So. My dad is O. I'm O plus and my mom is B plus. A few months before my dad died. He told me that my brother wasn't his son. I thought he was joking and immediately asked my mom about it. She freaked out and gave a super sketchy answer. My dad explained that my brother needed surgery when he was a toddler and they found out he was ab- I can't imagine the discussion that took place at that point. My brother used to donate blood with my dad regularly in high school and college. But abruptly dropped out of his biology major and moved across the country. Edit. I'd like to add that my mother didn't knowingly lie to my father about my brother's parentage and that my father is not blameless in this scenario. I don't know all the details. But I do know that after finding out. They had a much healthier relationship and were married for 40 years in total. Oh. Man. This one hurt. Positive vibes your way. Thank you. I'm really okay, he's my brother, and has been all my life. He's not okay with discussing anything related to blood groups yet, he avoided all discussion when transplants for my dad came up. But I hope he's willing to in the future. Mom doesn't want to talk about it either. And I don't push her. I'm fully aware that my dad wasn't a saint. So I don't think it's fair to blame anyone. Of course he's your brother. You have the same mother. I was differentiating between brother and half brother. I'm afraid he thinks I'll feel differently if I know the truth. This is why you don't cheat on your spouse and think you can get away with it folks. Cheat on your spouse. Cover all your tracks. Make sure you are rock solid. Forget about it. Move on with your life. Then 20 years later your son's girlfriend comes over for dinner and shatters your lie effortless. On accident. I mean. Three kids. She wasn't just a serial cheater. But also malicious about it and had the audacity to act like a victim. How dare you point out how much of a piece of s I am. Probably fuck the pastor. So she thought God was on her side. <laughs> Op gets an A+. It was a negative outcome though. Try to be positive about it now they know the truth. What do we do about it now? Oh. I don't know if there's any that could fix their family arrangement. That's an amazing life experience. Not many people get to be the catalyst for a family disintegrating by holding an impromptu high school science lecture. Dope. This is exactly why our bio class stopped having the students compare their blood to their parents' blood for labs. Apparently there was always one kid every year who was not biologically connected to the dad. Slash. Jesus Christ man. Nah. His is wine. I should not have laughed at that. But damn it. You got me. Why do I have underscore to take science? I'll never use this stuff after I graduate. To break up families and cross check yours. A plaque that every science class needs on the wall. Was the pastor the father? Asking the real questions here. Yikes. On a little lighter note. This reminds me of my parents and my older sister. Because when my sister was about 3 or 4. My mom was watching a soap opera. Where the storyline was that they figured out that someone cheated because their baby had one blood type. The mother had one blood type and the father had another blood type. The soap opera insisted that because of the father's blood type, the child couldn't be there. Turns out that these blood types all matched my parents and my sister. Except that, in my family's case, it was my mom who had the impossible blood type. 
so it was just really bad writing on the soap opera. And my parents found it hilarious to think that my mom couldn't possibly be the parents of the child she gave birth to. Laughs. You have become science girl. The destroyer of worlds. You mean destroyer of marriages. Breaker of vows. The wife had done it on her own. Now she had another guy or two helping her out. I love the science of blood types. So this was a great read. Even if it had an unfortunate ending. 5 7 op. Great job. Keep working on those Punnett squares. Zero quarters for the dad though. One quarter for the dad. One for the kid. That actually belonged to him. None of the kids were his. And the baby was the older sister's kid. But I thought Jacob was his son. Because of the O blood type not ab. This is the absolute best tiffle I have ever read. Has all the element. Op steps in S. And doesn't know it until 2 seconds too late. Family drama. Edit. Including multiple affairs. Shouting and screaming. People running off upset. Causing a divorce this is bound to become a reddit classic. Yes. So many things had to happen for all of it to come together so perfectly and awkwardly. Great job being horribly uncomfortable for our benefit opus. I would 100% watch this if it was a TV show. Hello future editors. We are the top post makers. And we are the dreamers of dreams. Yikes. Sorry that happened to you or and your ex-BF's family. I can only imagine how awkward everything would be. I wonder why the ex broke up with her. He probably didn't want her to be blamed for ruining the family. Better to let her be free from all the s that was about to ensue. And the thing about this is, is specific enough where, if exp sees this, they'll almost for sure know it's their story. Here's hoping op fudge some of the specifics for her own sake. This is one of those stories where you think wow, yeah, easy mistake to make. I can totally see this happening. But hey, A plus for you on reminding your BO. On the other hand, had the older siblings been A plus, no one would have suspected a thing. Oh snap. I misread SAHM as sham at the start of the post which basically set the tone for the rest of it. I took it as sham as op uses acronyms, but doesn't state what they are. Stay at home mom for those that don't know. Thank Christ. I had to scroll down way too far for this. Ditto. Never heard that acronym before. Wait so even the other row child wasn't biological. Nope. It was a pretty devastating blow for him. We were talking about blood types. When I was donated blood in college and my dad all casually mentions that my sister is a and there's no way she could be his kid if that's true. Then goes about reading the paper. My mom is in the kitchen yelling the hospital made a mistake. Like they discussed it before. He doesn't say another word. But my sister is shook. 20 years later my sister has a baby. And they test her blood. And damned if that hospital didn't make a mistake. She's A+. plus. Our mom had passed by then. But I said a little prayer apologizing for thinking she was a whore. RH negativity is recessive. So a child being negative will never itself disprove paternity. Since even if both parents are positive it is possible for them to have a negative child. So it must have been the A, not the negative. That was of concern. I can't tell if this was a joke slash troll and you were fishing for someone to correct you on this. Close bracket. Nah, it was 20 plus years ago. It might have been they thought she was a B plus. Who remembers? Point is she's A plus and my dad is mostly likely her dad. My freshman biology teacher told us a fun anecdote similar to this. One year, after teaching Punnett squares through being able to roll your tongue, a dominant tray, one of her students found out they were adopted when neither of their parents could roll their tongue. She stopped using those type of examples after that lol. Well hopefully she didn't ruin anyone's life, since a google search reveals that is a myth. Yeah I used to be able to roll my tongue. Lost the ability. Don't think I'm suddenly not my mother's daughter xd. We broke up shortly after but, not after figuring out that none of the kids produced from the marriage were his, and they divorced soon after. None of the kids. Including your bf at the time. F revealing his mom's infidelity you inadvertently brought a full blown identity crisis down on the kid. Ouch. Could you imagine, having such a huge secret in your life and its entire security was based on information commonly taught to children in HS. 
Opsol BF's mom was quite the bold B for underestimating the intelligence of the members of her family for sure. God even that's fucked. Imagine your parent valuing your mental capacity so little that she assumed everyone involved too fucking stupid to deduce the truth. Ugh. God even that's fucked. Imagine your parent valuing your mental capacity so little that she assumed everyone involved too fucking stupid to deduce the truth. Ugh. I mean. Have you ever scrutinized your family's blood types? I only know my blood type due to chance. And I can't say my first thought upon finding out was to see if it should have been something different. Yeah. Honestly she probably didn't even consider it as something that would come up. Or maybe didn't even know enough about it herself. I didn't even know my own blood type until a few months ago when I had a bunch of various lab work done for my first pregnancy and it was included in my test results. And I'm 28. It had just never come up before.